I am coming for you. My name is Jeffrey Thomas with Jeffrey Thomas Photography, and I want to talk to you today about a the Hobby Lobby shoot. And I know it was a big deal like two years ago, um, maybe a year and a half ago, and I actually did the shoot uh, in February of last year. Uh, and I wrote a whole, huge article about it on my website, but um, I think the problem was is that not a lot of people read websites anymore. So I'm trying to make this, trying to go back to all my a lot of my old posts that I've already written out and done a lot of research and typed and you know try, um, spell checked and everything for you. But now you know, thanks to the internet, no one wants to read anymore. You're looking at my ugly mug. All right. So uh, for, for those of you who don't know, the the Hobby Lobby shoot was. Um, it, it was an idea that you could go into Hobby Lobby with a camera and, you know, take pictures in, in amazing and really cool creative ways. It, it was an, it was a it was a theory to prove that, um, you know, you didn't need to be in the best of surroundings to make the um, to, to, to make a really awesome, amazing photo. And that's exactly what we did. So um, I hit up, uh, I was living in Austin at the time. So I hit up Austin area models and photographers. It's a Facebook group that uh, I, several thousand people are a part of and just put out this model call. And uh, a, a woman by the name of uh, Samantha Cowan uh, hit me back up and she was like, Hey, you know, I, I really like this idea. I really want to do it. And, she was pretty enthusiastic about it, so we we took off and we did it. And she showed up with her mom, and I always love when people show up with other people because guess what? They can carry things for you. They can help you. So you know, her her mom initially held a flash for me, and then almost right away that I I didn't like the the way the photos were were turning out with the the light coming from, uh, you know, the well lit ceiling in Hobby Lobby, and so we put away the flash and I never used it again. And uh, the, the, the thing it was three pictures I took with them and all of them were rejected. So this is literally the only thing that I had on the shoot. No reflectors, no light modifiers, nothing. Um, as, as far as photography equipment goes anyways, we, we used a couple of props, but um, we actually found the props from around the store. And uh, we actually got kicked out when we took one prop from one side of the store to the other side of the store, which we'll get in here in a second. So, um, well, the, the, the first place we did is we, we went over to, um, I guess the, the flower area, you know, walk into the right and it's all like artificial flowers. We just went down some of those aisles and, um, had her posed up against a wall and then the pictures that I'll put up here, you can see like the ones I was doing when I was holding up my phone and then taking a picture and then holding up the, the camera and then the actual edited professional picture at the end. Um, and so you can see this one right here. She was, um, you know, standing up against this, and I was like, oh, man, that's a really great picture. Okay, hold that pose. Took my phone out of my pocket and trying to hold the camera back up, and then, yeah, it, it was a really, it was a catastrophe. But, um, but yeah, those are the two pictures I got, and, that, and the, here's the edited photo um, that, that came out of it. I mean, you can see a little bit, kind of a little bit in the background where, you know, you could probably tell it wasn't a store, but somebody had to tell you. I mean, this kind of looked like it came you know, right out of a beautiful pasture, you know, at, at the golden hour or something. And, um, so then we moved on to an adjacent aisle and, uh, you see this picture right here where she's just holding a giant, you know, one of those obvious fake, you know, there's no roses that grow that size and then put this little, I don't know what you call a fake door behind her, have her sit in a seat. And then that's the photo that came from it. And of course, you know, you look at the, uh, the kind of the upper, left side of the photo you can see uh you know the the drilled holes um for the you know the board where they hang up uh hang up hangers on for products so uh you know that was it was kind of interesting but um so you know this next one this is uh partly one of the ones that we got in trouble for and we got kicked out of uh was this fence right here and uh you know that the, that lady right there is her mother 
And, you know, just told it, it was like, okay, we'll just lean against the fence. And you're like, oh, you could see everything behind me. But, you know, because I was using F4, uh, you know, it was completely bokeh at behind her. And uh, you can see that the, here's the finished product right here. Which, again, you know, it was just, it's super simple. It's free. We didn't have to pay for anything, which is, you know, always good. And I think those are the... I think those are the only three that I'm, that I'm seeing here that, um, you know, actually got some with my with my cell phone because it was it was really difficult to take that picture and then and then hold up your camera and then try and get a, it. Was, it was nuts. Though. So I didn't take any more, but um, I'll do a uh, I'll do a playlist right here. Um, what, do, what do you call a gallery? I'll do a gallery uh, where you can see all these photos just kind of pop up and and all these were fun. These were, you know, super simple, super easy, and and I think I actually have some hanging up on on this wall behind me from from this actual shoot, and you know that all turned out well. She she loved the photos, and I, I obviously love the photos too. I think it was a great experiment that was well done. Um, it was just a really easy, amazing thing to do until we got kicked out. But yeah, so um, I'll, I'll put it on right now. This photo. Uh, was the one that caused us to get kicked out because we we literally took the fence from one side of the store to the other, and you know I'm 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 holding up a whole cart full of all my photography equipment with a camera you know dangling around my around my side and and then they were like oh no 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 you you can't do photos here in Hobby Lobby do you know what we do in Hobby Lobby, and we we just didn't want to argue but we we, we packed up and left pretty quickly but um but yeah this is my uh, experience with Hobby Lobby. Um, I think it, it turned out really well, and it was definitely worthwhile doing. So I'm definitely going to do it again, for sure. This was definitely an amazing experience and, and definitely something that I, that I want to repeat.